today, February 12, 2016, GSR reporter Lisa Maynard is interviewing Lake Geneva's Chief of Police, Mike Rasmussen, about the incident that took place on Geneva Lake Saturday, February 6, when several vehicles parked on the lake broke through the ice. Chief Rasmussen, can you tell us a bit about the events that took place out on Lake Geneva last Saturday, and how do you feel the emergency response was handled? Oh, um, well, what happened last Saturday was there was a uh, winter fest, so there was uh, a lot of people in town, uh, more than we usually see, even during the, the Venetian Fest and all the other festivals in town. Uh, parking, uh, people decided to park out on the lake because there was no parking. Um, we were actually running a shuttle too, uh, just a little uh, hit for the shuttle that was used more than I've ever seen it. I mean, I saw people waiting in line for, for a half hour to get on the shuttle, but there were so many people utilizing it. And that, that's an indication of how busy it was downtown and the lack of parking. Um, so some people parked out, out on the ice and uh, they parked too close together. I think there was well, more than 25 cars all together. And uh, the, uh, the vehicles were way too much and, and started uh, to go through the ice. Um, police department, fire department came out, the, the street department, utilities, everybody worked very smoothly. Um, we were able to get some of the cars off that uh, weren't damaged, and some that had minor water damage, and then uh, the tow trucks and, and actually a couple uh, um, airboats had to come in to get the, the remaining vehicles out of there. And uh, it was just a, a smooth operation for that many people um, between the, the city services. Okay. Um, and can you tell me a little bit about what role the city plays and the DNR plays in regards to parking out on the ice? Well, uh, the DNR, by, by state law, does not let us uh, restrict access to the lake um, unless we have an ordinance in place. Uh, lake Geneva, Fontana, Williams Bay, the surrounding communities do not have a, a joint ordinance to restrict vehicles um, from going out on the ice. Okay. Do you think anything can be done differently next year, or do you think anything will be done differently to prevent this from happening again? Well, you know, this is my 25 years of, of working in the city. People have always parked on the lake in the winter. There's fishermen out there, um, fishermen driving out there now. Um, but uh, for Winterfest, when you get those uh, additional vehicles out there, that would be up to the, the city fathers to decide if they want to do the lake ordinance to restrict parking on, on, the, on the lake or not. Um, can you tell us maybe how you became to be the chief of police here in Lake Geneva and how you feel about it and what it means to you? Um, I, I started uh, 25 years ago. I was, I was hired as a part-time dispatcher, worked my way up to a part-time police officer. I went to the academy, um, got hired full-time in 95. Um, then I was a detective for about 12 years and continually moved up and about nine years ago I became the chief. And uh, it's a great place to work. I love it. All right. We're glad to have you. All right. Well, I want to thank you for taking time out to talk to us today. Um, I am a Geneva Shore Report. Thank you. And we appreciate it. You're welcome.